Hi folks, Dane here and welcome to the AuthorTube, BookTube, YouTube Author, YouTube Book Tag. Let's go. Question number one, how did you find out about AuthorTube? Now, I don't know how long this has actually necessarily been a thing. I think you, uh, authors have been using YouTube to share their work for quite a while. I actually saw this tag on Todd the Librarian's channel. Todd is awesome. But as for AuthorTube itself, I mean, I've seen authors on YouTube. I've not seen anybody call it AuthorTube, but I've been kind of watching BookTube videos. I think my, can, uh, my camera's a bit wonky. Let me just... Ah, uh, whatever. Anyway, that's a bit better, I think. I don't know. No, I'm still slightly wonky, but whatever. All right, question two. What genres do you write in? This is a crazy question to ask me specifically because I write literally every genre. So, I mean, at the moment, well, let's go through my books. My first book was a supernatural thriller. That was followed by a collection of poetry. That was followed by uh, what I call a literary fiction novel, but it's, I guess it's kind of contemporary, sort of technology inspired about a social networking site. That was followed by Social Paranoia, which is a non-fiction book. That was followed by Coming Up to the House, which is a horror novella and screenplay. Then there was Subject Verb Object, which is a collection of different, well, it's an anthology of different authors from around the world. Then next up, I've got a detective novel, another poetry book coming soon, I'm ghostwriting a non-fiction book that I'm very excited about. And also I'm working on a book called Meat, which is kind of, I don't know, I guess, again, kind of contemporary, kind of horror, a little bit political inspired, set on a factory farm. There you go. Question three, what is your preferred writing tense, point of view and category of story? open brackets, children's, YA, NA, adult, etc. close brackets. That's quite a mouthful of a question. My preferred writing tense, um, probably past tense. I tend to write in past tense. It's really confusing for me sometimes actually because sometimes my books are kind of set in the future but they're still written in the past tense which, you know, it, it just boggles the mind. Um, formerly was first person, the rest of it tends to be third person. That tends to be my jam. What, what else was the element? Favourite category of story, children's YA, NA, adult, etc. I mean, I, I, I always write for myself, pretty much. I mean, I know that's kind of a cliche, but I write books that I myself would want to read and that aren't in existence already, if that makes sense. So half the time when I'm writing a book, it's literally so I can go back and read it at the end, even though I never do that. Are you a plotter, a pantser, or a plantser? Which, that last term I haven't heard before. Now... I'm mainly a plotter. In the past, I've kind of done, uh, you know, chapter by chapter breakdowns for Driven and that series. I've got little character sheets with images of each of the uh, characters and, you know, a list of all the police force and their ranks and all this kind of stuff. However, recently, I have been kind of going a bit more freestyle. So with me, I've actually tried to plan that book out two or three different times and I've got all of those notes. Haven't looked at them yet. I'm just writing from kind of my head from where I want it to go. I'm obviously taking notes of what's going to happen further down the line. And eventually I will go back and revisit those old notes and see kind of which elements I can then weave in. So I guess that that kind of more comes under plantsing. Are you self-published, published or yet to be published? All of the above. Um, I mean, my first books came out. Well, actually, let me take you back to when I was like 18, 19, and I was writing books and I used to get them printed and I'd give copies to my friends and family, that kind of thing. Fast forward to when I was about 25, I got my first uh, publishing deal for my first book, No Rest for the Wicked. And that's kind of when my legitimate career as an author took off, I suppose. Everything else was kind of for fun. Um, I had two books published by Booktrope Publishing. They then went out of business, unfortunately, not my fault. And uh, after that, No Rest for the Wicked got picked up by Dragon Moon Press, which is a sort of an independent press. And the rest of them are all self-published. What publishing company, literary agent and or printing company are you represented by or use? If you're not yet published, what is your dream publishing house, house, house and or literary agent? Again, huge mouthful. Um, well, I, like I say, I used to be with Book Trope. I'm now with Dragon Moon Press. I represent myself pretty much and do a lot of kind of PR and marketing and all that kind of stuff off my own back. If I was to find a dream publishing house, again, it depends on the kind of books because I've, I've had dreams of like my nonfiction. That'd be great if Wiley picked that up. Obviously, Random House or someone like that would be great for any of my fiction. But I think uh, 
probably like quirk books would would be a good fit i've had a little look at some little smaller ones like legend press i really like the stuff they're coming up with um yeah i mean uh, for me to want to work with a publisher i have to have read some of that publisher's other books and like because it's not just about the actual quality of the work they put out in terms of the writing it's also the layout the cover design all of this stuff like the accompanying marketing so um yeah i don't know i i think the self-publishing revolution has actually given authors a lot more power now i i personally there aren't many small presses that i particularly want to work with because i can do just as good a job if not better by myself so really it's the bigger publishing houses and, and all that kind of stuff so yeah what authortube related videos can we expect to find on your channel uh writing updates i do a weekly writing update i do some poetry videos although i might not be doing that so much um this is a good point for me to mention actually i have multiple channels so youtube.com forward slash dane cobain is just my channel my personal channel i use it for writing updates poetry uh, book trailers anything like that also a lot of music and um, my own original music as well as cover songs then there's youtube.com forward slash social bookshelves that's my book blogs channel things like hauls more tags like this obviously this is going on my main channel because it's an author tube tag um, and then there's, I started a new one called youtube.com forward slash five bookish facts where I do five bookish facts and it's very fun question number eight when did you start writing now I personally I guess well it's hard to what do you define as writing when I was sort of six or seven years old I used to write songs which largely took the form of taking popular songs and rewriting the lyrics that was started when I was really young when I got to about 14 15 I actually learned to play guitar and started writing my own songs and lyrics they were all awful I kept a journal from that I went into kind of poems I wrote my first novel when I was about 18 I actually used to write it in college so while I was supposed to be studying computing I was sitting there writing my first novel and uh, that's what made me go to uni and study creative writing and from there it's, it's kind of all gone from there really I mean I'm now 28 I work full-time as a freelance writer writing stuff for other clients lots of marketing stuff and all this this stuff I've got six books out I've got about 12 books that I wrote that aren't released and will not be released most of them because again you know you, you learn your craft for the first 10 years or so 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 i'm only just getting to where i'm writing stuff that i'm really happy with so yeah what was the first story you ever wrote well again it's probably something at school there's a, a diary knocking around that's a non-fiction thing about a, a holiday i had when i was five years old so there's that um i remember writing this kind of semi-fictional piece just about me walking home um drunk basically and getting uh, jumped by some people which actually those two things did happen but not on the same, e same evening so but you know poetic license but the first like proper thing I, I written I guess was was um, this novel I wrote while I was in college and it's really dark it's about this uh, teenage girl who's got an abusive stepfather her mom dies in a car crash like she gets really uh, desperate and unhappy and lots of self-harm she actually commits suicide at the end of it uh, it's all grim I remember in that book actually uh, out of the four main characters only one of them lives till the end <laughs> What authors have inspired your writing the most? Um, tough one to answer. Philip Pullman is probably up there. Terry Pratchett, J.K. Rowling, Graham Greene. These are all kind of authors that got me really hooked on writing. I would say Meat, which is the novel I'm working on at the moment. It's very Stephen King inspired. Um, Driven, which is the one that's the soonest one to come out. That's very much like Pratchett and Douglas Adams mixed with like Agatha Christie and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. So it's meant to be a kind of a a modern day cozy mystery with some funny bits in and hopefully you'll agree because i have a weird sense of humor but yeah i mean i think everyone as an author every other author influences your writing and for me particularly the, the indie community it's great to you know see what they're up to and to get inspired by sort of friends and what i would consider to be kind of colleagues in the industry do you schedule your writing sessions or simply get to writing whenever you can find the time you don't want to start me on this subject. I have a thing called the schedule that makes sure that I write and also do other things. I actually talked about it in a recent writing update, I think. And um, yeah, basically I pretty much write all day, every day. If I'm not writing for me, I'm writing for a client or, you know, I, I do a lot. I think I, I calculated it the other day. I reckon I do about six, 7,000 words a day on various projects, but about 4,000 of that is on client projects. So, you know. Do you type on a computer, typewriter, write everything out by hand, or use a blend of those? And where do you write in general? 
Okay, so I used to write it by hand. I actually wrote No Rest for the Wicked and formerly were both completely handwritten before I then typed them up and edited them and did all that stuff. I've since realized that's a massive waste of time. So now the only things I handwrite are in my uh, notebook. I write poems in there, some flash fiction. Sometimes if I'm writing songs, I'll write that out by hand. Um, sometimes I keep notes on my phone and stuff, but as a general rule, I sit in the room through there. Uh, in front of my computer with my three screens and the big TV next to it and I type away because I, I, I think it's 150 words per minute or something I type. I don't know, I did a speed test a while back. It was good. What are you most looking forward to now that you're a part of AuthorTube? I think I've kind of always been a part of AuthorTube. I've always been there. I mean, I've been making YouTube videos for years. No one ever really watches them, but um, I bet Todd the Librarian is though because I stole his tag. Hi, Todd. Um... And some other people. I might even put this on Facebook. But yeah, I mean, I just like seeing what other authors are up to, get a few bits of inspiration, find some new books that I want to read, and just generally talk about writing and reading. I think that's a noble goal. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Been a bit longer than I expected this one to be. I don't know how I'm going to find all the music to fit it, but at least I talked really quickly like this and tried to whiz through topics as quickly as possible so you could absorb information really quickly and not get bored by me talking really slowly like this don't forget to hit subscribe check out some more videos like my page on facebook buy my books please and bye